Hello and welcome members. Introduction to Microsoft Intune lecture with practical examples. And here in this video, you know, we're going to dig more to the Microsoft Intune. And the best thing is we are going to offer you is we are going to cover the Microsoft Intune fundamental course that is available on Microsoft Docs. And we're going to follow each and everything from there and we will add some more real-world practical example as to make it more practical and related to the corporate sector so we will try to add all those examples as well but here we're going to explore the introduction and some more basic features because there is too much that we have to cover in the coming videos so here from in the beginning we're going to make your foundation much stronger then you will easily understand and grasp the concepts that are coming later. So if you look at this this detail, the market trends, you could easily realize that there are technology emerging and the days are just moving faster and the technology is coming on daily basis and the things are, you know, getting pretty much smarter and efficient. So the cloud is everywhere and you know the 90% of companies are in the cloud. There are one to four months typical update cycle. 95% of organization allow personal devices in the workplace. So it's it's what happened like that you can see in the offices, in the in the working environment that organizations are also providing mobile devices to their employees to protect data and this part we're going to cover later here in the device management failure so you know in this way why this is happening because the companies and the corporate sector understands and they they, they thought that their, their data is sacred and they don't want to get uh, they, they don't want you know their data to be out in the market and some bad guys and some you know the bad intenders try to steal that information and use for some other purposes so in such cases to get rid of these situation companies do what they provide mobile devices they provide laptops to their employees to their uh, corporate users so in this way the number of devices are increasing day by day and you have to maintain the security and the compliance of these devices as well as managing the apps the 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 kind of content the kind of stuff the employees use and they they surf on their phones so all should be managed because if the devices are provided by the corporate sector so, so these devices are the corporate devices and the corporate devices must be managed and it should be managed and to manage these devices these products like Microsoft Intune and other products in the market are available and among all these products the Microsoft make things more easier and simpler for any IT administrator for IT professional to manage the devices from top to bottom and add different layers of security and also protecting companies data and providing cyber security and it integrates with different products like the endpoint and behind that endpoint product we have all the cyber security related stuff you can sync your devices to the endpoint and endpoint will be working as a front man but it has all the tools that any endpoint and any you know antivirus antivirus and other programs that defends against these threats and these sort of worms and you know these sort of cyber attacks so the Microsoft is giving you foolproof security foolproof management foolproof feeling like you are on to total cloud environment and also you know the device management failure are costly and here's the number like 3.92 million is a global average cost of data breach so in such all these scenarios Microsoft is playing a bigger and huge role to provide a full complete solution to any corporate environment 
so let's explore a little more here and here's what changing modern workplace and this is what that I already discussed previously that user and knowledge workers that were using a single device are now using multiple devices because companies are providing their own devices and in this case they have a lot of company data a lot of company stuff on their phones that's why these phones should be managed should be secure and should not be be touched by any other person or any bad guy who could take advantage of that information and these devices you know are business owned so these devices and both user are very important asset for the company so they also in as as well as they are managing the users employees they are, they want to manage their devices as well so you know users that were only using the corporate network with the legacy apps are now using cloud managed and saas apps as well so in the in this market you know that user are moving towards more cloud based app and the IT admin that were using the manual processes are now moving towards automated environment they are not working on the reactive situation and reactive attitude but they are changing themselves to to present to work and they they are creating a automated environment and IT admin that were providing a high touch environment for the organization on a providing self service solution because most of the IT companies and most of the corporate sector you will find that they are providing the, the, their IT department are working on such portals so, such sort of tools which do, does what they helps the common user who doesn't know a lot about the IT and about these technologies but they are creating a user friendly portals and services so if the user encounter with any error or they want to fix anything so user can easily get access to such portals and resolve that issue by their own so the things are moving towards this direction but if you move to the azure portal and have a look here that how this as which is mentioned changing modern place workplace is available here in the max of Intune so here we are on the Intune admin center and if you click to the devices so you will have the better feeling and now you have a clear picture that how the workplace modern workplace takes place so here you can see that if you click to the all devices it's gonna show you the list of all devices which is managed by your organization which is joined to the Intune and just in a sim single look you can see that whether these devices are managed by Intune what are the ownership whether the device are compliance what's the OS the OS version the last check-in so you can see that in a single look you can easily gather collect the data of that user by just simply clicking on all the devices so that's that's really help helpful and you know in the corporate sector they are moving towards those tools that you you you'll have just single portal single single point of monitoring single point of managing single point of control where you can get detailed reports where you can create policies where you can see the compliance of the policies and all together you can find all these things here in the Microsoft Intune so if you switch to the monitor so here because we were talking about the modern workplace so here you can see in the monitor you can create profiles and then you can monitor that which policy is currently assigned and how the assignment is going on like how much devices are compliance at the moment and what sort of status of this policy is going on and here you can see you have all the details of the operating system like the Linux devices, Android. You have the detail of iOS, Mac OS, Windows Mobile. And if you switch to the enrollment alerts, so you will see we don't have right now. And in the same way, you have the compliance status. If you want to further investigate about the compliance, so you can switch to this tab and you can see that the one device is compliant 
and what is going on with the other devices one device is without what if you click here to see that what is going on with that so here it says error and the device was Optiplex 750 it says the desktop system but this account was used to join the device join the Intune but it's no longer there but we will show you later in the coming videos how you can join devices in the Intune now here you have the device configuration profile status and no policies with error or conflict then you can switch to the software updates and here you can see in the modern workplace you can easily see and you can find out the details you can gather the logs and stuff and you can get the details within this graph graphical environment and here you can see deployment status of all update rings for all devices no data right now but you will have the data if you have devices here and in the same way if you want to go to each iOS like if you want to check your devices in terms of your operating system so you can see by platform like Windows OS Mac Android Chrome Linux and if you want to explore this enrollment and you are planning to enroll your devices so here's some manual method and here's some autopilot deployment program which we will further discuss in the coming videos and we will show you the practical but here we are following the Microsoft Intune fundamental roadmap so that's why we're just discussing related to the module 1 stuff but surely we will add all these practical for you that how you can add devices how you can use each one of this policy and each one of this you know the object that is available here and in the same way if you go to the app that's how you can manage your mobile app and the product has what both ways to manage things like the mobile device MDM and MAM mobile application management so here you can see if you click to the all app you will see all the app that are available here in the environment and these are what which which apps are those these are the apps that are used by your mobile devices which are listed here so if you want to create the policy and you want to add some restriction so here you can see if you click to the app protection policy you can see you have this outlook developer and if you click to the app configuration policy so you can create and add some configuration now if you click to the add you have two options manage devices or manage app so if you click to the manage app because here we are exploring how to manage apps through the Intune but we will have a separate video on the whole practical example from top to bottom from policy creation to assignment now here you can see that you have to define the name so if I type test app and description leave this and target policy to all apps all Microsoft app and the core Microsoft app so let's select the all apps if you select the all apps this policy will be in force and will work out on all the apps on your mobile device or or your selected devices but if you go to the selected app then you have a chance to select the public app currently it's not selected and here you can add the custom app as well so you can click here and you can search the package ID or bundle and you can add your own custom app you can also change the platform here as well now here let's select the public app and you will start seeing all the public apps available and users mostly use all these apps so here if you select the acrobat reader for android and select so you can see this public app is selected then click next and here on the setting and here you have the certificate option you can add certificate for user who want to use this app or you can add this value here like let's say manage and here if we type value 3 and click next so here's the assignment on which user or which group of user you want to apply this policy so let's say we select this developer group and click to select but currently this user doesn't have any device or user but let's say for example if you go and move forward and here's the settings 
kernel is enable not configure connection name automatic configuration script rule port number not configure then click to create so here you can see that uh, that's how you can create the policy for your MAM and you can further configure stuff and th also you can trigger installation of apps from this Microsoft Intune portal and you have all the user sync from the Microsoft Azure Active Directory you can see and if you switch to the groups so you will have all the groups sync from the Azure Active Directory so that's what we are discussing the changing of modern place workplace then access to data user within an organization and it is a very crucial topic and understanding for the corporate sector like access to data why because in this corporate sector when you have mobile devices laptops so the employees frequently accessing their data they are sharing files and between these sharing and these communication let's say for example if some bad guy some intruder just set up things and they try to take advantage of that role or if any employee with the bad intention try to steal the information so it is the top priority of modern technology and the IT admins to protect their data and ensure the security of the data when in transit when in you know when the data is in not transit form and when the data is stored in all the forms of data they make sure the security and the compliance of the devices and how to protect resources by managing the app because certain apps have certain different ports and different you know the connectors that navigates users from one portal to another and some unlegit apps also takes their action and it takes makes it takes their role in doing all such things because these days users get different links and once they click on those link these links navigates to some dummy some some you know scams and user are just get trapped in those scams by just typing their email ID and their password so in this way these apps are also becoming threat to the modern security and the data integrity and data protection so this MDM and MAM solution is now become vital for every organization every corporate sector and it is adding value and making your environment more sophisticated efficient and productive if you are keeping all these solutions in your company.